And, you know, right now in Toronto, uh, gentrification's like, mad crazy right now. Like, Scarborough, like, it has, like, th- that effect, too. Like, you know, North York, Jane and Finch, like, it's having that effect, too. It's everywhere uh, nowadays, too. So, mm-hmm. um, what are your thoughts on, like, gentrification in Toronto right now? What do you mean? Say, say that word again. Gentrification. So, it's, like, um, so, like, you know, like, an old area that gets tore down, torn down, like, yeah. um, and then they put, like, you know, new establishments or new buildings to make it, you know, to move the poor away and then put it in the rich class and all that. So I like, just learned something today. <laughs> so, like, so say that word again, Gen- gentrification. So oh, um, I could I'm give one example. Uh, yeah, like Regent Park, you know, back then. Yeah, now they're grimy. condos. Yeah. So I get what you mean. So you're saying like, how do I feel about them, them tearing down metro housings to build up their condos and all that fun stuff, basically? Yeah, I mean, if you want to give your thoughts on that. Um... And trying to move us, move my people out, cause I, I feel like anybody in the ghetto is my people. But um, I don't like it because I don't feel like they're 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 providing for 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 the people that they're trying to move out. You know what I mean? I feel like they're they're putting people in a lot of sticky situations. You know what I mean? It's like imagine somebody telling you, "Hey, by the way, uh, we're building a condo here. Hey, you gotta go." You know what I mean? It's like, okay, now you're just, it's like, I don't feel like they're trying to break the cycle. I feel like they're trying to create more poverty, more destruction, more, you know, messing up the culture, you know, metro housing. And, and they're, they're, I really just feel like they're trying to add to the poverty instead of trying to take it away yeah. personally. hundred uh, percent. I mean, they're moving these people to like Brampton or to other areas too. It's not really solving the, the problem too in terms no. of like everything going on. It's just kind of creating more of a bad habit like how do you move somebody from region park to brampton think about what i'm saying like you move them to brampton now i just seen something on the i don't know what i was on the news that brampton has the highest insurance like getting insurance in brampton is the craziest so now imagine you move a guy that's from toronto that was just paying 100 bucks on his insurance now you move him to brampton now Maybe you might put them in metro housing or, you know, some type of, uh, what's the, what's another word? Not metro housing. There's another word for metro housing. Uh, like subsidized. Yeah. yeah subsidized housing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that stuff. Like uh, you move a guy out there now and you tell him, Hey, by the way, buddy, you got to pay uh 300 bucks cause you live in Brampton for insurance now, yeah. but sorry. No. Like, you know what I mean? You just, it's, you're not trying to break the cycle. You're not trying to, like you said, you're not trying to create opportunities for people. You're kind of putting them in a worse predicament or a worse situation yeah. and then having them to result in whatever they choose to result 